Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to another trail. Uh, I mean, shattered relic video. This is going to be video number two. If you missed video number one, it was literally just the first hour experience of the very first hour, and then a rollback happened. However, we didn't actually get rolled back, and obviously, this video is going to be continuation from when the servers got reunlocked and all the way till at the end of the day one. So I really do hope you guys will enjoy today's video, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Let's get right in to it and we're going in are we we are not rolled back okay so we continue from where we left off um okay that's not too bad let's go ahead and finish the museum okay let's take a look if i speak to orlando smith that should now give me a little bit of hunter xp straight up to 20 beautiful and it's also a task completion so that's nice and that is romeo and juliet done and we get a little bit of quest points uh, but also two sages renowns or one sages renown 160 league points in total cool okay so now i'm gonna activate this lodestone for the very first time and i want to train my thieving a little bit more Ooh, there we go we just found an unidentified fragment for skilling that is cool how that just popped up in my inventory like that nice so let's see what it is you've gained 500 xp in my smooth criminal fragment current xp is 500 out of 800 so when i reach level 2 my percentage is gonna go higher so that would be a really cool one to to reach honestly uh but for now let's just keep thieving i want to reach level 25 and then i'll move on to warrior women and we just got another one so if i break it one more time once again 500 extra xp in that skill and there it is level 25 in thieving but we also got level 100 total which also gives us some points that is our first level 30 already completed and we got a couple of league points for that beautiful i trained thieving all the way to level 38 and now i'm able to thieve master farmer so i'm gonna go ahead and thieve those there is pickpocketing a master farmer for 25 points that is my first level 40 once again 25 points no renar seed unfortunately but now i'm gonna thieve um well i'll take waystone straight to varrock and i'll thieve 28 of the guards in order to complete two more tasks basically and at that point i pretty much unlock my next tier and with the next tier i should also unlock uh, extra experience so there's the first task just pickpocketing him once and now if i save 28 pouches again i'll be able to complete another task which is pretty much oh shit that was actually two tasks look we're only five points until the next one that's that's amazing actually nice okay just one more and there it is we now have 28 coin pouches and if my calculations were correct if i open these there it is look at that we now unlocked a tier three relic so with that now we have unholy ranger as well but i don't have the skill unlocked just yet but if if you look at the passive effects right now our multiplier is now 8x so that's what we wanted we're happy with that that means uh, if i want to train some afk range a little bit later on i'll be able to do that we got a combat level 5 but we also picked the feathers and we also picked the egg we can now move on also at this point i'm only gonna go like to five defense and then i'll continue on with magic also i have enough points right now to go ahead and unlock another thing my next two things i want to unlock is gonna be wood cutting and fire making so i'm gonna go ahead and unlock wood cutting first this animation is really cool look at it very nice big fan of it let's chop a tree and uh, also light it in a second we are now finally unlocking the lumbridge waystone right here oh man the lag is pretty horrible a lot of people around this area um, but there it is we can now tp to lumbridge beautiful that was a very quick task don't even need to talk to the guy and let's leave this immediately that is the copper done i'm also mining tin we're gonna make a bronze bar in a little bit but now i'm gonna spend a nice chunk of my time just running laps in the drain or agility course Okay, that should be the task completed as we jump down, and bada beam, bada boom, that's the first rooftop course done, nice, two tasks even completed, nice. That is my first mark of grace, which is a task, and someone has the, the coins on the floor that you get from a specific relic, and he's not picking up the coins, that's 4,000 coins on the floor, man, it is an absolute disaster, but anyways, let's keep on running. There it is, 30 laps are completed, took me a little bit of time, and now I know exactly what I want to work towards and that is to complete Dorgashan quest line but not quite because I am actually allowed to fully unlock it just like that but for that i need 24 sages of renown however if i complete some of these quests by myself the reason why i want to unlock dorgashun is for the dorgashun crossbow because when i need to afk edit do something on the side i want to train my range up and i want to train my defense up oh this could be anything i just got another unidentified fragment for skilling let's take a look grave robber okay 50 laps later i do believe this is going to do it now i'm just gonna do three quests very quickly goblin diplomacy rune mysteries and 
fishing contest. Nice amount of Sages Renown there, and we have over 400 League points. That is a pickpocket a ham member, thanks for an upgraded axe. Appreciate it. Oh, that's also a task. Well, that's a task and uh, we can now complete Cook's assistant, I believe it is. Let's speak to Weissen very quickly. Tell him we need some woad leaves. There it is. And on top of that, we're gonna be willing to pay him 20 coins. So he should give us two of those. Now we have everything to complete the quest. That is Cook's assistant done. Um... Don't get anything for it, I think, but that's totally fine. Now I quickly got to spin this wool. That is a task done. Another Sage Renown point, making a very quick bronze bar right now. Beautiful. That's another point and another task done. Quickly burned some logs and I'm gonna plant some seeds and then continue on with my quests. That's gonna be a task. Beautiful. We just caught a raw herring and that is also anchovy completed. Beautiful. I just got myself a food in the Lumbridge uh, castle and that was a task. But very quickly now, I wanna get five defense there it is and now if i buy a steel item and wear it that's also gonna be a task done and that is me entering al Karid, and now i'm quickly gonna do one full lap of al Karid course and that is the course completed beautiful the unholy ranger one that i have here is not what i actually thought it was it doesn't save my ammo so that changes my plan a little bit for my afk spot uh, it appears that i might go ahead and just do fishing during my afk time but uh, honestly it happens not a big deal let's just continue on with our plan. I will quickly buy these steel plate legs in this shop for 1000 coins. A little bit of a scam there, but now I'm 5 defense, I can wear it, that's a task completed. I'm now going to buy uh, some desert disguise right here and a couple of water skins and we're gonna go straight to agility pyramid. Whoa, hold up, we just got another unidentified fragment for skilling, let's see what we get. No, it gave me XP grave robber again, that's so useless, damn it, well that's unfortunate. Oh, we just got another one, another skilling one, I got three Really lucky with the back to back right now. Let's see what do we get. Golden Brick Road. Wait, that is amazing. That means every time I get a Mark of Grace, I actually also get a, well, coins basically. So I could theoretically continue on training agility and make a lot of money doing it. And honestly, I might do it. I'm not even sure. That is, that is an amazing one to get straight up, especially this early. Uh, but anyways, fat amount of agility XP with up to 45 right now. And now I'm quickly going to cash this in, which is going to be a task. And it's also going to give me some nice coins that I kind of need at the moment. I first need to speak to Simon. And after a short discussion, I can give him this top. There we go. And that's going to be 10,000 coins. Beautiful. And a simple task completed as well. Very nice. Now that we have have some extra money to splash i'm gonna talk to a state agent and ask him about a house it's gonna cost me a thousand gold and that's gonna be the task completed oh yeah i need levels for taverly that's another task to do that later on and that should be there it is the quest completion and now if i teleport with him that should be another another completion i believe yep there it is Ooh, and there we go i moved the golden brick road up and i activated a set effect uh, you gain an item which allows you to teleport to major areas apparently all i gotta do is collect items from the sage and there it is Portable Waystone is now unlocked. I can wear it. And if I click teleport, wow, I can teleport all around the game. That's gonna help us so much in the early game. Beautiful. I got all the way to 38 fishing and I should be able to utilize some of my Sage's Renown to unlock a couple extra things. So because of that, let's uh, stop procrastinating. Oh, there's 39 fishing. Let's go ahead and unlock fire making. We said we want to do there it is. Uh, but we said we also wanted to do... I already forgot. C cooking. That's the one. Wait, cooking is 20? Excuse me? We are not doing cooking just yet. Well, I'll just leave my raw food in the bank for the time being. Level 40 fishing. I can now work on a medium task, which is to catch 100 lobsters. So let's just go ahead and begin that. That is a really cool part about this league. As soon as you're getting your clue scroll, you actually get it in a scroll box form. We just achieved our first level 50. So as soon as I'm done with catching all these raw lobsters, I'm gonna move to harpooning the spot and getting 50 swordfish and 50 tuna. There it is. Big 50 swordfish caught and I thought the 50 tuna was also a task but it isn't it's only the swordfish so now I'm kind of just in a chill mood because it's the evening I'm pretty tired so I'll probably just go on with some woodcutting tasks next firstly let's go ahead and purchase the steel axe right here and now let's just get chopping ah there it is chopping down a log with a steel axe is now completed I'll just quickly chop some regular ones and then move on to oh ooh, there we go smooth criminal is now level 2 so the next time I'm thieving I should be getting some extra bonuses 
Because apparently, no matter what you train, you are going to be getting uh, fragment upgrades across multiple skills. So if I'm skilling training woodcutting, I'm also training a fragment that's for thieving. So basically, it kind of works with everything. All right, so I got all the way to 30 woodcutting, just chopping down oaks. And now I'm going to have to bank 100 willow logs. We just got a total level 250. Nice little 5 league point reward for that. And, uh, well, still chopping willow logs. Obtaining a nest was also a task. So that's another point. Thank you very much. And we also get a clue scroll box. And there it is, exactly 100 willow logs chopped. And we got 25 league points for that as well. Apparently burning some oak logs is also a task. And this is going up extremely quickly. 30 fire making, and now it's time to burn 100 logs. And there it is, 100 willow logs also burned. There it is, 50 fire making. If I ever want to unlock Winter Todd, I now pretty much have everything I want for it. However, I'm not planning on doing Winter Todd at this very moment. I just want to do a couple extra tasks. Quickly defeating a rock crab should be a simple task. Here I was, just trying to kill a lesser demon on top of the wizard castle. And once again, we are present with a line, so... Yeah, I think I'll just skip this, this one for now. I am back for my revenge on the Moss Giant. And look at this absolute machine of a man right here, milling the Moss Giant. Hey, best of luck, buddy. You got this. Oh, wait. I got a Chaos Rune drop from a Little Wizard. So let's see how many times I can cast that. I actually forgot I can just use it. I mean, it's 50... Per well, never mind. I guess this. <laughs> there's the answer to that. And there's the Moss Giant defeated. There we go. Speaking to Stankers will give us a Poison Chalice. Drinking a Poison Chalice should give us a task completion. Very very nice. Quickly visiting Brimhaven. There is quite a lot of tasks here, but firstly, let's go ahead and activate our waystone. There we go. That should be the medium task completed. And now let's go ahead and kill the Tazar as well. All right, here we are. Let's hold on. Wait a minute. I just got an unidentified fragment misc. Miscellaneous, I would assume. From just casting my spells on the mage. Let's see what we got from this one really quickly. I cannot break it at the moment. Breaking this will give you a power related to clues and mini games. Well, that felt like forever, but there it is. 36 magic, but I also killed him and I also got another fragment out of it. This time I did receive it as a drop. Let's go ahead and unlock this one first. Unholy Ranger, just an upgrade unfortunately. And let's see miscellaneous one. Clued in fragment. Let's take a look at what this one does. Ooh, look at that. Enemies drop clues consistently. Enemies will drop clues at a rate of 1 in 30. So very useful. Obviously I can't equip it right now because I want to have my teleporter on. But damn, that's a nice one. I'm happy to have gotten that. Okay, quickly fill the crate for a very simple task. Now I actually see that I never put pineapples into this thing. So let me buy 15 pineapples and fill up the compost bin. And somehow that was also the task. Very cool. That's the fishing contest completed. A couple of points. There it is. Goblin diplomacy also done. Decided I don't want to auto unlock quests like that when they are literally one minute quests. Uh, and there is more stuff I want to do in Falador now. We're going to go pretty deep into the caves. You get a task just for entering the dungeon. Uh, we have a lot of sages renowned. So what I'm thinking is after I complete a couple of quests here, I'll probably unlock attack and strength and just go ahead and do some quests that are gonna give me a ton of experience in those two skills now that we're here we're gonna quickly save spot the jailer and you can do so in the northern corner just like that and as soon as we kill him we get a jail key and we're gonna utilize the jail jail key in order to open this door and here we are now able to speak to velcrar the explorer and that is also a task a very simple one and now if i hug the northern wall and come right here I'm also able to quickly save spot this blue dragon. And the combat level 25 also obtained, giving us, well, another task completion. That is a blue dragon defeated. That's going to be a task. Now, if I pick up these bones and bury them, I'm not going to get XP because I haven't unlocked prayer yet. But it's going to be another task completed. There is one more thing I want to do here. Not get burned by dragon. Ooh, we're good. I don't have prayer, so he could have burned me for my entire HP. But here, all I gotta do is kill a black demon. It's just a small task, but might as well do it while I'm here. There it is, black demon defeated. And I got a clue scroll. Okay, so now that is out of the way. We killed it. Beautiful. That's five points. There it is. The crocodile is defeated. That's a medium task done. Beautiful. Since I know I'm going to be questing right now, let's go ahead and do some unlocks. I have a lot of points that I can spend on skills. Attack and strength. If I complete waterfall, fight arena, stuff like that, it's just going to be useful. And it's going to allow me to eventually get my dragon defenders and so on. For now, I'm only going to unlock attack because the first one that I'm going to do is going to be the grand three. But you know what? Just to commit myself and lock myself 
fully into it. Let's unlock strength as well. Why not? Let's go ahead, strength, and unlock this one as well. It's starting to look very nice. I'm not going to lie. All right, our melees are now fully unlocked. Let's get questing. First quest completed, and I actually got a combat fragment out of a quest. I didn't know that I could get that. Let's uh, unlock this, see what do we get. Uh, more XP in an unholy ranger. So not, not ideal, but honestly, not too bad at all. Apparently, it's a task to even visit this place. That's kind of cool. There it is, defeated the guy. Uh, we now get orbs of protection. And there it is, Trinum Village also completed. Nice amount of attack XP, and we are already up to 56. Let's see the XP drop. It should be big. And, well, I, I didn't see it, but I think it was like 130k or something dumb like that. Look at these stats. 60 attack, 50 strength, already straight away. On top of that, I get this uh, first level 60, and that's another medium task completed. So that is wonderful. Ooh, look at that. We just got a skilling fragment. We'll open that after the combat. Let's go ahead and take a look what's in this one. Enchanted jeweler. There we go. A new one. Uh, we haven't had this one before. We can now enchant five pieces of jewelry per enchantment with 100% experience. Basically a fast way to enchant my jewelry. Nothing too crazy. A nice amount of agility, a little bit of magic, and nice amount of attack XP. I forgot to kill a fire giant, so let's go ahead and do that now. Very nice. And apparently the task was to also get an easy combat achievement. I just got a bunch of tasks not even knowing where from. Okay, that's kind of cool. I didn't realize, but my challenge for the beginner clue scroll is to cook a trout. Now, I have not unlocked cooking yet, and I think this is a good reason to, well, unlock it. So let's go ahead and unlock cooking. I have the points for it. There it is. Cooking is now unlocked, and I can quickly teleport myself to Sears Village, or Catherby rather, and just go ahead and cook all my raw food that I caught earlier. And would you look at that? 500 total is also achieved. Beautiful. Successfully cook five pieces of food. For those of you interested, Arcane Conduit Level 2 gives me 60% chance to save the rune, or the weapon charge, which is phenomenal. That's a, that's a nice improvement from 40%, straight up, nice. Clues are gonna be so fun to do with a teleport relic, honestly, like, it's so nice. And there it is, a first beginner casket. What I'm looking for from this one is any uniques. And I don't get uniques, but I get a steel item and a steel axe. Let's hope for a unique here. I'm not gonna do any more if I don't get it, and I didn't get it, so <laughs> there it is. Uh, I'll do more in the future, just don't wanna waste my time now. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I do believe I can buy myself a mithril scimitar from this shop, wear it, that's a task. So let's get an adamant short sword, this one, wear it, and there it is, and so much more to do. So if you enjoyed this video, if you made it this far, please consider liking it, and also come back tomorrow for another video, and subscribe if you are not. Yeah, see you again tomorrow with another video. Have a good one, and bye-bye.